Hi everyone, my name is Karen and I'm the Children and Families Worker from Mount Pleasant Baptist Church in Blackwood. You might have met me if you've been to our church before, so thank you for joining me today. This Sunday is Valentine's Day, so I thought that we could celebrate that and also celebrate God's love for us at the same time. So today we're going to make a Valentine's Heart Sun Catcher and yours will look something like this when it's finished. You will need to gather some simple materials and tools before you begin. You should have everything you already need at home. As I always say, the creative energy and love you spend while you're making these crafts is more important than the actual components. So just have fun with what you've got available to you. So now I'll go through the list of materials and tools that you'll need. So what we're going to need today is two sheets of stiffish card in red or another favourite colour of yours. Then we're going to need some other coloured paper. I've got some pink and blue here. We're going to need some cling film or transparent plastic if you've got that. We're going to need masking tape or sellotape. A glue stick, a pen or a pencil, a hole punch or something similar, a pair of scissors and some string or some wool or some ribbon, whatever you've got handy. So if you want to go ahead and gather all those together and then we'll start doing some preparation. So let's start preparing our hearts for our sun catcher. You're going to need to take your card, your two sheets of red card or whatever you've chosen, and you're going to need to cut out two heart outline shapes. It's easiest if you put the two sheets together and cut out the hearts in one go. This makes sure that they match up. I've already done mine and you can see here when you put them together they match up quite nicely. These are just shy of A4 size so, and you want to make yours about a similar type of size. Once you've done that then you want to get your coloured paper and you want to start cutting out your heart shapes. Now these are going to be a, a lot smaller, you can see this is a lot smaller, that's probably about two, two and a half centimetres or one inch uh, wide and high. Um, I think I've cut about 20 of mine in a variety of blue and pink. So you could make more or you could make less. So if you want to go ahead and do that first, so make your two outlines and then make your small hearts and then we're going to start actually making your sun catcher. This first part can be a bit tricky, so you might need some help with it. We need to take our cling film and we need to tear a piece off that's slightly bigger than the large hearts that you've made. Then what you want to do is tape down, lie down your cling film, smooth it out as much as you can and then tape it down on the four corners. Try not to rip it as it's quite fragile. Then once you've got that, you need to take one of your hearts, one of your large hearts. And what you're going to do is you're going to glue round the heart. If you've got a spare space to do this, not leaning on your cling film, that's best, but I haven't. So I'm just going to do the best I can. So I'm going to glue. all the way around so it's nicely covered like that then I'm going to turn my heart over and I'm going to place it glue side down onto the cling film and just flatten it out and this is why you want your 
um, cling film as, as tight and as flat as you can get it so that when you put this down it lies nice and flat. Now you need to let that dry for a minute or two and then once you've got it to dry you need to untape the corners of your cling film and you want to start cutting around the edge of your heart so you want to make sure that the inside of your heart still has the cling film but you're just going to cut off the excess that goes around the edge. I've done most of mine so I'm just going to finish mine off. So this is what it's going to look like your heart with your cling film and then if you turn it over on the back you can see that the cling film uh, touches the edge of the card. So what we're going to do now is we're going to lie our card down so that the card is dead first and then the cling film and we're going to take our other piece of card and like we did before we're just going to put some Pritt stick glue on it. Make sure you've covered it all. There we go. And then we need to carefully line this heart up with the one below it. it might be a little bit tricky, so you might need to just push it around a little bit until you get it into the right place. Like that. That's close enough. Okay. So you should now have a cling film sandwich. You should have some card, some cling film, and then card on the other side. And this is going to make it hopefully a bit more stable. So put it to one side and let it dry for a minute or two. And then what you need to do is get your hole punch, whatever you're using, and just in this top part here, you're going to put a little hole. That's where your string is going to go through. Okay. So you can see that we've got our heart with our cling film and our hole. So the next thing we're going to do is to write our Bible verse on our sun catcher. So you need to take your pen and I've got a lovely metallic one here but you choose whatever colour you want. Um, make sure it's fairly dark so that it will show up. And we're going to write our Bible verse around the edge of the heart. And today the Bible verse we're using is from 1 John chapter 4 verse 19. And that says, we love because he first loved us. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'll write this on the heart and then I'll show you what I've done. So if I hold it up to the camera, I hope you can now see what I've written on there. Starting here, it says we love because he first loved us. And then I've written the Bible verse reference on this side. So now that we've got our basic structure done, we're going to get to the really fun part, which is decorating the sun catcher. So now you want to get your mixture of different coloured hearts. And what we're going to do is we're going to place them on the cling film in various different places just to make it look pretty. You can put as many on as you want or as few on as you want. Just remember that you need to leave some space so that the sun can come through. And then whilst we're doing that, I'm going to talk to you about this Bible verse. So let me show you, first of all, just what I'm doing. I'm just literally gluing a heart and I'm going to stick it onto the cling film. And I'm going to do that with different colours and place them in different places. And actually, they stick quite nicely once they're glued on. So 
So you go ahead and start decorating yours like that. And whilst you're doing that, I'm going to talk to you about this Bible verse. First of all, I'll remind you what the Bible verse says. We love because he first loved us. Now let's think about love. Some people think it's about liking someone very much. And that is love. We probably love lots of people. Our parents, our grandparents, brothers and sisters, our teacher, our friends, even our pets. But the love that God, Jesus spoke about in the Bible is a different type of love. Bible love is a love that results in us doing something good for someone else, promoting their welfare. God himself is the source of the ability to love. When we care about and then do something for another's welfare, it's an indication that God lives within us. We should always be on the watch for people who need a kind word and a helpful hand. God still loves us today. If you believe that Jesus is your saviour, you are extra special to him. He loves you in a special way. He could not love you any more than he does right now, for he is God. As John said, God himself has shown you what love is. God's kind of love cared about us and did what we needed. Now Jesus wants the boys and girls and grown-ups who belong to him to love other people that way. If somebody says he loves God, but he does not care about helping others, he is not telling the truth, John said next. John meant that if you say you love God, you should show it by showing love to other people. People who really love God think about how they can be good to others. Now, we cannot make ourselves care about other. God is where love comes from. People like to think about themselves and what they need. And the Lord is the only one who can make us want to love one another. Remember, you show God's kind of love by doing what is good for others. You show God's kind of love by helping other people have what they need. When you get up each morning this week, you might ask yourself, who can I especially help today? Then ask the Lord to show you how to do that. Perhaps you could hang your sun catcher up in your bedroom window to remind yourself every morning. So we should have finished our sun catcher by now so that all that remains is to thread some string through the hole to hang it up. Here we are. And then we can tie a knot in this end and then we can use some sellotape or a little hook to hang it up on the inside of a window. There, doesn't it look lovely? And won't it look super when it's hung up? And when the sun can't shines through, it will look really, really special. So I'd like to say thank you for joining me to make this Valentine's sun catcher and learning about how we can show God's love to other people. I'd love to see a photograph of the sun catcher you have made so that I can share them on our Facebook page. So please email me a photograph to familiesblackwood at gmail.com. I've put the address in the description section of this video or you could post it yourself onto our Facebook group page. Now, you probably know that this coming Tuesday is Shrove Tuesday, or as many people know it, Pancake Day. Shrove Tuesday marks the beginning of Lent, 
the 40 day period running up to Easter. Often people choose to give something up for Lent, but I'm suggesting we do something else. Why don't you join me through Lent to do something nice every single day? It's from Messy Church and it's called Love Yourself Through Lent. Every day I'll be posting a suggestion in our Facebook group of something nice we can do for ourselves that day. And if we really want to act out God's love for us, we could even try and do something nice every day for someone else. What do you think? Will you join me? If so, pop along to our Facebook group. I've put the link in this video description and let's see what each day will bring. And maybe you can post underneath what you've done that day to show love to yourself or to someone else. So don't forget to give a thumbs up to the video, you see the icon down there, and also subscribe to our YouTube channel below. Every blessing to you. I hope to maybe see you one of our, one of our services and I hope that you'll join me through Lent. God bless. Have a lovely Valentine's Day and Pancake Day. Stay safe and stay healthy. God bless.